this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make bases like the ones in the track Bunny Hop by Nympho. Uh, so this is the original track and this is my version. Now I know it's not exactly the same but it contains a lot of different movements that we can extract and use to create our own original bases. But again, and also it has a lot of different variations. that eventually, if you keep fine tuning, you will create hundreds of different sounds and maybe you'll come across the, the exact same track. But again, we don't want to create the same tracks, we want to create our own original songs. So if you want to learn how to create this sound, stick to the end. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of preset pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial patch. And the first thing we're going to do is to automate the pitch bend. It's just two semitones from up to down. Then we're going to load a sign with an oscillator A, turn on the sub, and then map an LFO into a level of oscillator A. Then we want to remove the VPN sync from here, and then create a shape like this, and then automate this rate to match a similar riff. So once we automate this, this is what you should be getting. Let me just change it to a saw wave so you can hear it. So yeah, that's the movement we're going to be creating. Then we're going to turn on FM from B, but we need to add something on B. So let's load another sine wave, bring this down and boost it one octave. And now we're starting to get more harmonics. So let's map a different LFO on the FM amount of oscillator A. Let's make a shape like this. Let's set it on one bar, so it's like falling. Just like that. That's super nice. Then we can add something like sync. To add more harmonics into the sound. That's really nice right there. Let's go into the effects section. And here we're going to turn on the distortion. Add some chorus. Turn on the reverb. Boost the mix all the way up. And bring every parameter down. Then we're going to turn on a multiband compressor. Boost the gain and boost the release. This is just to make it sound super metallic thanks to this reverb. We can always mix the effect. Just like that. And then let's turn on a filter and then map the number one into the cutoff of this filter, like this. Again, if we remove the reverb, and now with the reverb, it just makes it feel a bit more metallic, which is dope. And then we can go back into the oscillator section and change the sync and play with this FM parameter. As you can see, you have a lot of possibilities for shaping this sound. Now for post-processing, it's really simple. We just want to add a serum effects, and with the serum effects, we're going to add a comps filter. Just to add a bit more of feedback into the sound. Cool. And then uh, there's a simple EQ. Boosting a specific frequencies, and then we can go back into the patch, change the FM, change the sync and just keep playing and playing and playing. And once again, you don't want to create the same exact same sound. You want to learn how to make sounds like the track because this artist already make their music. We, we want to be a bit more original, but recreating their music is such a great way to learn how to make good sounds and then try to make something original. So that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.